Hey guys, today on John's Woodwork, I'm going to show you how to build this nice little hammer door knocker. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I built it. Right now I am measuring out 6 inches on a 1x4 that I had, and I will cut that on the miter saw. Right now I'm taking this scrap piece and I will measure out 5 and a quarter inches, so when the 3 quarter inch strip that I'm going to cut out of it uh, lays on top, it'll sit flush. I'm ripping three quarter inch strips out of this to make the back pant, uh, box part so the knocker lever has room to move. Now I take one of the three quarter inch strips and measure three and a half inches on it so it'll match the one by four. And now I can find the center of the front plate which is three inches down and one and a quarter, half inch in so I can drill the hole that will allow the knocker lever to move and I'm using a 5 8 inch paddle bit. These holes need to match the diameter of the rod you're using to act as the pivot point. I'm using tight bond 3 because it's an outdoor glue and it's waterproof in case I ever want to put this door knocker outside. Right now I'm just taking a little metal piece off of the end of this quarter inch oak dowel. Um, the dowel ends up being two and three quarter inches long at final, and the handle is black walnut and it's four inches long, and the head of the hammer is a one inch dowel which is two and a quarter inches long. I cut them on the miter saw and began to shape the head of the hammer on the bandsaw. I cut the notch by flipping it over on the flat side of the dowel, which I flattened with a razor blade so it has a better joint between the handle and the head. Um, then I cut, cut out the notch and did some other minor shaping on it. I now began work on the hammer handle and I am just taking off the sides on a bandsaw. If you're a turner, turn it. If you want, just put a round over on it. I just decided it was easiest to do on the bandsaw. Now I'm just making a dowel joint with the hammer between the handle and the head and just using a little piece of oak dowel as the dowel point and drilling some quarter inch holes and gluing it all together. And clamping it. I measure two and a quarter inches up from the bottom of the hammer handle and drill a quarter inch hole in it. This quarter inch hole will be uh, fit with a quarter inch dowel that is three or two and three quarter inches long with an eighth inch hole one inch from the end. Um, this eighth inch hole I drilled on the drill press and will allow room for the rod that allows the hammer to pivot. Now time for final assembly. I stick the rod in the hammer and stick it into the five eighths hole. I stick the eighth inch dowel through the hammer and through both sides of the holes. You can see how it's coming together now and the lever makes the hammer go up and down. I had left my lever a little longer so I um, trim the end off so it can sit flush against the door or wall or something. I mark where the eighth inch dowel needs to be cut so it sits flush with the sides. Now time for sanding. I went up through the grits and now I'm just finishing up the finest sanding. Now glued everything together, making sure the joints were tight. Um, I didn't want to get glue on moving parts that didn't need to be glued, so I was careful of that. I straightened the dowel so the uh, hammer was perfectly 90 degrees, and then pounded in a nail for effect. Um, the wooden hammer didn't work as well as I thought. I can now insert the pin, which will allow the hammer to kind of hard getting in there, but once you get it in there, make sure it's flush and you can test out your hammer. I was very happy with the way it was working. I cut two thin black walnut squares and glued them over the ends of the rod that allows the hammer to pivot so that it doesn't slide out. After I glued both those on, now I can clamp them together. To finish this project, I'll add a couple coats of spray lacquer.
I tied a simple slip knot in a short piece of rope and attached it to the lever to act as like a doorbell string. I then took the other end of the rope and tied it to a metal loop to act as the pole. And there you go, that's it. Now you have a hammered door knocker. Pretty cool.